Hello everybody. Today I plan on doing what I wanted to do for a very long time and I sure talked a lot about it over the last year or so that I've been making YouTube videos and that is to do something with these rims. Uh, you know, it's no secret that these have a tendency to uh, to corrode, which you can see here. Now you can also see the efforts of some of my past repairs and what's up with these little tiny red things that are crawling all over look at that oh my god you know some sort of ants or something so all right didn't expect to find that but whatever it is i'm finally filming it on a day when it's it's like almost 90 degrees so i picked an excellent day i'm going to be cooking in here but it's okay so you can see the efforts of my past attempt which I did right before I started doing YouTube last April uh, and I, this is my efforts from like past March which I I try cleaning as much corrosion as I could um, I've uh, you know I cleaned it I uh, primed it so with the gray primer but well, that's it then I sprayed just your regular rust-oleum paint and and that lasted I don't know three four maybe five months and then you can kind of see it started you know obviously these things chip off it's not really made for that so yeah so i've been driving around like this i can't say that it bothered me you know too much but at the same time i want to do something about this and and to start us off oh yeah here like here you can really see how obviously the paint came off and the corrosion still happening underneath so you know, the thing is, I've never seen, like, a rim actually corrode to the point of failure. So, I know it's just a clear coat uh, that comes off and then, you know, the weather kind of takes over and the dirt gets in there. So, you know, so unlike rust, I don't think this, cor I think this corrosion is more cosmetic. So, you know, technically speaking, I can keep driving like this and it'll be fine. But I want to spend some time today. Oh, my God. What is this? Who did that? Who did that? <laughs> anyway, all right, enough of that. So what I want to do is I want to use this. Now, uh, I went to my local Walmart and Home Depot and apparently they only sell black, white, or clear there. So I ordered this specifically to, you know, I like to keep my car as stock as I possibly can. I don't really do any modifications. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I could buy gray online. So I waited about a week to get it. And I want to use Flex Seal to, to do this in gray. So why, now why Flex Seal out of everything? And this is the liquid, not the spray on kind. Uh, because if you guys remember from some of my past videos, I used Flex Seal to seal up my sunroof when it was leaking. And I tell you, you know, yeah, it's a funny infomercial with our boy Phil Swift there. But that stuff does work. Uh, it, when it came out of a spray can, it, it sealed it. I mean, obviously there, there was no leaks. Obviously I couldn't have opened the sunroof, but that's a whole different story. I should have thought about it. But the reason I want to use Flex Seal because man, that stuff works. It seals up and it, I don't I hate to sound like Phil Swift it stops leaks fast so in this case I'm not worried about stopping a leak but I, what I want to do is I want to use this to paint just you know I'm gonna scrape off some of this stuff as much as I can and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it now before you guys give me hell and I'm and unsubscribe and, and call me an idiot and all that stuff and say well why didn't you fix it why don't you take it to to a shop why don't you buy new rims yeah i can do all that but i don't want to i i'd, I'd rather do this and if i ruin a, you know a rim with this if it's gonna look like crap hey it's my it's my rim it's my car i love the car so i don't want to ruin it per se but you know just give me a break you know i, I understand this is not a, i'm not doing this as a publicity stunt for youtube to get views no i'm i'm doing this because i want to i i, I want to try it and worst case scenario, you know, these rims, not a whole lot I can do to make them much worse. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Look how many colors. And I'm going to clean it and I'm going to, you know, probably make this into several series. Obviously, I got four rims to go to, so I'll try with one. And then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so here we go. You guys are going to get this type of view for a while because trying to have a camera nearby, but yet not in the way. 
So obviously the first thing we're gonna do is the easiest thing is pop this off. I got all these little red crawling things all, all over. <laughs> you guys remember uh, when I put these on I put a date. So luckily so far nobody took them but there you go. I put these on October 3rd of 2020 and these things, yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they're scratched, but they're not too corroded, so. All right, first thing I wanna do is uh, scrape some of this stuff off. Now, I brought a few of these little metal wire brush. I think this is more of a plastic, so I, I don't know why I have it. I don't think this is gonna actually do anything. No, maybe just help to get some of this crap off. And I'm sitting, you can kind of see the corner, I'm sitting on a variety of floor mats that I've kind of hoarded over, over the years. So, oh man, so look at this. All this paint, like as soon as I start touching it, it just comes right off. So obviously this is, you know, this is not the best. <laughs> Probably keep my mouth shut. And I'm gonna be using a lot of speed up footage. Uh, so once I scrape all of this nice goodness, which does fall on one of the floor mats. I also brought some of this sandpaper right over here um so this is the 80 grit you know pretty gritty so i might hit it up with that basically the goal is obviously to get as much of this stuff as i can uh and then you know use i brought some of this heavy duty i mean it's called cleaner degreaser so i'm just gonna wipe this wipe the the, the remainder off and the idea is to make sure that the the flex liquid will adhere to the surface and if it's anything like what I've experienced with the sunroof uh, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna hold well and plus because it's like a water sealer type of deal it's gonna prevent you know hopefully uh, it's gonna last a lot longer so All right, so there you have it, about 35, 40 minutes of uh, compressed footage there. And ultimately this is where I, you know, I brushed it off with this, you know, I dusted it off with these plastic bristles, I hit it up with some sandpaper, and then I used this uh, to kind of wipe everything off. And, you know, when I started doing it, once I, you know moved uh, the paint enough or enough of it off you can kind of see very well the extent of the corrosion it's all happening here obviously all the way around the circle and then it kind of spreads down so i mean this stuff that did take you know a lot of the paint off once i kind of scraped it enough and did what i did all right so now is the fun part <laughs> this stuff so um first and foremost when this stuff ships it comes with these little two clips on both ends which i had a very hard time removing because it was small enough where i couldn't get the screwdriver in so i kind of uh mess mess i had to mess around with this enough to uh you know to get it off and then the uh you know let's see let's put it right there let's move it away there you go so then it's just like opening a can of paint And I probably shouldn't be doing it on the floor mat, but it's okay. All right. Come on now. There we go. So, it smells, it smells like paint. I mean, really, it looks like paint. Um, all right. So now, we're gonna be taking it and Keep in mind, I mean, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna dip it in here a little bit. Oh, well, it is thick. Kinda like paint. <laughs> and I'm gonna try, you know, and if, if, if it all comes out weird and bad and this and that, I can always go back and I can always repaint them. And maybe someday I'll get a new set of rims, but honestly, I just have more to do with, you know, give or take 800 bucks. 
All right, well, here goes nothing. Wow, it actually, the color match is very good to the, to the paint. I mean, not obviously to the original rim, but to the paint that I put in there, on, on here, I should say, it's a very good color match. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked. So let's see, let's do a little more. Oh God, okay. All right, I put too, I put too much and then it started, a little rubber strand started to come off. And that's the thing, like, you know, when I did, um, when I did the sunroof, the whole sunroof spray, uh, that was the one thing that I noticed that was kind of off, and that was uh, when you would spray it out of the can, yeah, it would come out fine, but then you would have these little tiny strands of rubber that would kind of fly out of the can. And that, those things were all over the place. And, and the reason why I got, you know, this whole idea with the, the, flat, the Flex Seal Liquid is because it really grips. Like, it, hold the, it holds on to the... Uh, to the material that it that it attaches to very well i had a hard time scraping it off the glass believe it or not with a scraper so i thought to myself well if there's at any time if there was any material that i could use on a rim you know and all the stresses and all the water that this then all the potholes and everything and i was like well i can't think of any better material to use other than the, the flex whatever the flex family <laughs> All right, so for the next, I'm guessing for the next hour, I'm going to be painting this thing. So I guess I'll be going to the speed up footage. All right, so let's look at a result. So let's start with the original or how it was before. So this is... This is the rear, so that's kind of how it looks. Obviously dirty, obviously with still a lot of corrosion and <laughs> paint missing. And this is what we ended up having right here. Now it hasn't dried yet. But this is how it looks right now. Now, I can see the contrast in color, obviously, between the little centerpiece and the, the stuff around. Now, it's also, currently it's still wet, so it's shiny. I hope that when it dries out, it's not going to be as shiny. And that noise you're hearing, that's a, a BMW that's running right behind me, so somebody's sitting in it. So overall, so far, and I don't know how the sun is going to affect it, whether or not it's going to yellow or crack or, or, or corrode, you know, any further than that. but. I'm pretty happy. The color matched pretty well from, from the paint. It doesn't match the original rim, but <laughs> not, not a whole lot other than having it professionally refinished uh, will. Uh, the Flex Seal liquid itself, I mean, it adheres very well. Uh, it dripped a little bit there in the bottom, so if you want to be any more careful than me, it, you, know, you might want to cover it up with a piece of paper or something. And keep in mind, this video, I'm not saying that I discovered something that nobody else did. All I'm saying is that I, I'm trying maybe something that no one else has done so far using the Flex Seal Liquid, but overall, I mean, especially from a distance, it looks nice. It definitely looks nicer than it was before. So I will have a follow-up. Obviously, I've only done one rim. It took about me two hours. It is really hot today. Now it looks like some clouds are coming in, so hopefully we'll get some rain and and the temperature will drop. But yeah, so it's about a two-hour project. So a total of around eight hours total. And I'm not suggesting that any one of you do that, especially not in one go. So as a bonus, since I'm already out here and I got another project that I got to do, so the I got the the remain the remnants of a Chicago City sticker. So any major city will have a bunch of parking ordinances and I used to work in Chicago so uh, I used to every year had to put a permit sticker for parking in a specific portion of the Chicago street so I'm gonna be working on getting it off I, I brought some Windex I brought a scraper so I'll spray it I'll scrape it and, and clean it all right so we'll see you next time I'll show you how that one turns out and maybe we'll do another rim or two depending on the weather see you everybody